Hi there, Janet here from Learn Always. Here's today's challenge. What I'd like to do is create a Google Classroom and add an assignment. In the assignment, I'm gonna ask my kids to upload a photo. Then I'm going to go in as a student and I'm going to submit a photo. Then I'm going to go into the assignment as a teacher and I'm going to write some comments directly on the photo itself. Then I'm going to go back in as a student and see if I can actually see those comments and what I need to do in order to see those comments. Okay, let's see. Let's go. I actually am going to go into my demonstration class, which is empty class. So we'll go to classwork. We're going to create an assignment and say, upload a photo, upload a photo, and then I'll annotate on it and assign. I don't actually have any students in this class yet, so let's just head back to the stream and grab that class code. Okay, here I am in the class as a student. Let's go do our assignment. So, yes, yes, yes. So upload a photo and I'll annotate on it. Okay, let's add a photo. And let's say I've got something in my Google Drive. I have no idea what is in my Google Drive, but we'll see. Okay, here's an example. I'll comment. Here it is. And I'm handing it in. Okay, back to the teacher. Let's check our class. Upload a photo. One person has turned it in. Let's have a look. Here it is. My photo has opened up inside my classroom interface. It looks like I've put some comments on it in the past. I'll say fingernail comment. And so now this looks great. I can see my comments. I'm going to add a private comment. So I see and post the comment. And now I will return it. Now I'm going to assume as a teacher that the student can see all of those comments in both here and here. But let's go take a look at what they actually see. Okay, here comes the student. And I can see now that it is assigned again, so let's take a look at the image. Now when I'm the student and I open the image, what's going on here is that it is opening in a preview window. And so that is why it is confusing for people because they'll say, I can't see the comments on this document, but it's because they have to see it um, opened. So if I click on the three little dots at the top and click open a new window, then I will be able to see the image. So it's pretty easy to do it. You just have to remember to click in those three little dots at the end. In fact, I can now add a comment myself and say, teamwork. We were able to figure this out together and comment. So now the student has written a comment on there as well. And um, I can go back to the teacher side. And sure enough, I can see that comment in there within my Google Classroom interface. So that's how students see the comments as well as the teachers. You're going to click in the three little dots and you're going to open it um, completely. Ta -da. Can't remember how to stop. I'll click stop.